Guys, sorry about any background noise, but uh, before I saw it, but I'm gonna do a review on my Wango, so it does have a key with him, so I don't know how the doors push across. So let's get in, start it up, and do a tour of the outside. So, on that side, uh oh, got the keys. This is a one take video, so. Anything you see is clean and unedited. So we're going to pop the hood. And now we're going to open it. So as you know, this has the 5.9 Magnum model. 189,000 with the was made in 99. 61% at the 5.2, so now I have the stick. So I do have the canyon code air intake. So Put it in a little bit of the fan makes a lot of noise. So there's the motor. There we go. There's the front. They just have the bug, um, bug gods. It sits on 31 10 50 good wheel angle quill malt tiles on 15 inch level limbs. It has the optional bubble. Bumpo shop for uh, buggies. The exhaust is a black back with a single out. Now this one does have the towing package which gave you a hit and up like glove on. And it's a single out. It's awesome. And since I'm back to you, I'm gonna show you the clunk. Get a swift and voila. Back here we got the Foldable shoulder compartment with car jack and all kinds of other Got a Corvo power outlet and for servants on seat belts for the back and cup holders and clay for the back. On here we got we got pin swap that goes all around the whole length and here's where all the money goes in this vehicle. Up here we got the adjustable roof rack wells. Just push in, move it, push that back down. And it has the lane guards all around. So let's go inside. We got heated mills and power mills. So on the inside we got power door locks. If I can get the work, automatic window on the car side only. It's a little weird. Our passenger window. And let's give it a web before we shut it off. Now, I do have a full exhaust video on my channel. I'll put links in the description below. But you know that air intake. You can tell this whole thing just fades. Just straight, it, it, it's a Hulk modal. Alrighty. So you can tell. Let's go ahead and set this off. And we're going to put it in power mode here. So we got power shield. And up here we have a little infotainment channel which is on the dash and many new vehicles. This one's up here since it's on the island. This is also known as the navigate navigation package. So you the direction, temperature, how many miles since that equipped since you reset it. I mean MPG. Don't buy this vehicle if we're looking for fuel economy, because you don't have any. How many miles we're getting at the moment? How many miles you got on the tank? And that time is not correct, and then off, and then go so downhill. We have the air conditioning and heat controls. We got shift no level. We got more um, tilt ceiling, hazards, wiper controls, and blinkers, headlights, pull out fog lights, adjustable dome. And here we got more little wipers or. Defrost, power outlet, cigarette bottle, and ashtray. 
oil block select broken down there. I have put a file single saw in for actual safety can in sickle. Two cup holders. A glove box. And here's the radio. So, it's the Factory Infinity sound system, which is the premium one from Factory. In 99, we only got a cassette player. And I believe it's four presets on the regular one. But on this one, we get CD and 10 presets. I'll show you that in, right now. So the speakers are not the factory speakers because they had gravated, but they are Pineal a series. They are the factory cleats. And for the last, we got the power mills. Door handle, door watch, cruise control, on off, set, cell, coast, and cancel, a horn. And then you got the passenger seat is manual adjustment. And then in the channel hill, we get better angle. It folds you up, you got a seat, and then this opens up, and we got a storage compartment. And let's go back and look at the rest of it. Power up and down, power, adjustment front and forward, and then the wheel adjustment up and down. You got a little recline function, power moving manually, one manual one ball, and then around back here. We have the second row, and then to get to the third row, what we gotta do, do this row, just pull up, and that throws it down flat, pull it again, and it tumbles right away. I mean, how simple can it get? To get with the sheet, we just fold that back, fold that up, and then pull this up, and bam, the old sheet lifts shoulder belts, and that locks into place. And to unlock it, you just pull it right up, close that down, and then put that down. And there's little cup holders and stuff. And these are the door so you can help get into the back row. And to put the seat back, all you gotta do is tumble, pull back, and it's locked into place. Back here we got the wheel air condition with three settings. And we got the middle seat belt. And then this goes down and has two little cup holders there. This one only has six cup holders. You get the one that does not have the uh, channel console like that. You get nine cup holders. And then you can see back here. Got a little dome light back there. Dome light up here. And we also got more features. Everything's made in the USA. But it's upside down. And this vehicle is just equipped to tow up to 12,000 pounds because of the upgraded glove line. I have no towed with it though, so I wouldn't know. And, up, and I forgot to mention, this is a auto adjusting mill for night time. And then for mills, you got window vehicles, you got vanity mills. And this is the four speed automatic. It's three speeds and then over off. So, and you got like that. And that's pretty much all I can think of. So, yeah. Peace out.